Hello everyone, this is Arif Mohammad Khan from Java Technology Center. You are watching Java Technology Center videos. Right now my today topic is how we can differentiate concurrent hash map with synchronized hash map. Right now it is very handsome question. I mean uh, interviewer are asking and they are fond of to I mean asking some critical I mean <coughs> critical issues regarding these topics. So I collect a lot of information from Google and find it out and going to represent. I am just trying my level best to implement that one. So what is concurrent hash map and synchronized hash map? We are all familiar about it. Now the concept is how we can differentiate it. Now come to the first point that I have written that there is no locking at object level. That means what the meaning of that statement that I have written that no object locking in concurrent hash map then where is the locking existing the locking existing at bucket level concept clear that means my concern is that in concurrent hash map locking is at bucket level got it now come to the synchronized hash map synchronized hash map as the method is suggesting don't confused about that that there is any misconception between locking between synchronization and locking no Synchronization is the property through which thread are in serialization, thread in, in sequence that whenever one thread will complete then it will release the lock. Are you getting my point clear? So that means now how locking is possible in synchronized hash map? Locking, locking is possible in synchronized hash map at object level. Got it? at a time one thread can utilize the synchronized hash map that means because locking is at object level and in concurrent hash map locking is at bucket level and in synchronized hash map locking is at object level concept clear now come to the point second <coughs> the effect of lower level locking is that you can have concurrent readers and writers why I mean the guys of Oracle expert invented the concurrent hash map. The reason without interrupting the executing thread, another thread can perform its task. That is called concurrent. That means concurrency at the same time lot of thread can work on the same mechanism. That is called concurrency. Now come to the point I have taken the second that locking is at lower level that means at the same time thread some thread are reading some thread are writing which was which is not possible for synchronized collection got it so this is this lead to more scalability concept is clear now come to the synchronized hash map point the locking the entire collection means here is the performance improvement why performance improvement because there is no delay in response for all the threads now in synchronized hash map one thread to till it, it 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 will release its log no other thread will allow into it so that is performance degradation concept is clear now i have written locking the entire collection is a performance overhead while one thread holds on to the lock, no other thread can utilize the same. I have explained uh, another thing. Now come to the third point. What is the third difference? In synchronized hash map, there must be the concurrent modification exception. Why it will be? When one thread will, I mean uh, concurrently when thre one thread will try to acquire the lock try to upgrade the same row try to upgrade the same mechanism then it will be the concurrent modification exception definitely but in case of concurrent hash map concurrent hash map does not throw a exception if one thread try to modify it while another thread is iterating over it so that it is the invention of the concurrent hash map concept clear concurrent modification exception in synchronized one and concurrent modification exception is not allowed in concurrent hash map because one is the exact copy of concurrent hash map is existing got it concept clear so there are two copies one is the original copy and one is the duplicate copy got it for concurrent hash map 
now point number four concurrent hash map use fine grained locking mechanism also known as lock stripping to allow greater degree of shared access due to this it provide better concurrency and scalability that is the locking mechanism we can google it so now method on synchronized map holds the lock on the object level we have already explained it got it so concept is here to achieve the better concurrency and scalability we should utilize the concurrent hash map and for synchronized definitely it is a cost cost to us now concept number four concurrent hash map is implemented for high throughput in cases where high concurrency is accepted there is no locking at object level because locking it as at bucket level so many threads are updating and deleting and retrieving a lot of things are going on at the same time but each in synchronized hash map each method is synchronized using a object level lock i have draw a particular table on it you can check it out the property hash map hash table concurrent hash map null key and null values allow in hash map hash table and concurrent hash map not allow the null key and null values is thread safety hash map doesn't have the thread safety concept hash table concurrent hash map is having the thread safety due to synchronization <coughs> lock mechanism not applicated at a hash map level but at hash table level lock the whole map hash table is lock the whole map and lock the portion current current hash map now come to the iterator point iterator in hash map and hash table are fail fast and in current current hash map it is fail safe definitely you must be clear about fail fast and fail safe so you can google it i will explain in my next article thank you for watching my video